Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and I am so thrilled to announce I'm over at the Texas FFA Convention in Dallas, Texas, having a lot of fun. My guest today, Sergeant Tanel, his first experience at convention. This is my second year, so I'm a little bit of a veteran here. <laughs> you know, Sergeant, first, I just want to say, hey, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so one of the reasons why I'm thrilled to have you on, uh, number one, is I want to know, you know, why the Army's here today, like why they see, you know, uh, a need to be and want to be represented and to get in front of the Texas FFA audience. Of course, that's a great question. I'm here as a representative for the Texas Army National Guard, Hmm. so which is, of course, part of part of the Army, and you know, and as far as the you know the overall. You know, Department of Defense and National Defense, you know, mission and things like that. We're we're part of the reserve component for the Army, right? So that's that's an easy way to think of it. Is like we're like part time Army. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously you have your like active duty guys that are always doing Army stuff, and then you have us and and the Army Reserve. So we're we're, we're doing like you know, essentially it boils down to like one weekend a month mm-hmm. that you do Army things, and then about a little longer period in the summertime that's about fifteen mm-hmm. days long. So yeah, part of the Army here, you know, but. You know, centralized to Texas, essentially. Mm-hmm. You know, we are Texas's National Guard, and we're here because you know, obviously, we're always looking for for good soldiers that can you know want to join, take it, take advantage of what we have to offer. You know, and then obviously, you know, to to support the mission and, and everything like that. And we see a lot of overlap with our values and you know the values of an organization like the FFA. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we there's some of the the core principles of being in the military and military service are, are the exactly the same, you know, things like the, the emphasis on hard work and accountability, responsibility and things like that. Yeah. So being your first year, I mean, what, what sticks out to you? Like what sticks out so far, so far, so far, it's, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot more people walking around. There's a lot yeah. more stuff. It's, it's cool to see mm-hmm. how big it, it, it all is. And what how about many the, different the blue and, jackets? Like the blue uh, and gold? Like it's like a C. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's cool because, you know, I can, you know, when they turn around, I can see exactly what school or what, what area yeah. they're from, from. They have their names, which is really cool. You know, it reminds me a lot almost of like a, a military uniform in yeah. some ways because they have their name. They usually have like their position if they're like the president or the treasurer or things mm-hmm. like that. It's, it's on the jackets right there for you. And then they have some of their like little awards mm-hmm. and pins and things on there kind of tell you about what they've they've done or, or and uh, yeah i mean it's it's awesome it's, it's very it's kind of it's kind of like a, a sea yeah. of of kids <laughs> that are, are very well dressed and the jackets look real sharp yeah any any comment on like any of the conversations you've been having because i know like the first time i came i was having these conversations and i was just the maturity level i don't know if it's the being organized or what but like i mean i'm i'm shocked that you can see kids talk or i should say members right mm-hmm. they're, they're they're young adults talking to each other and everybody's not glued to their phone like i was oh. just like it's it's different Oh yeah, there's definitely a, it's a credit to the organization mm. that, you know, the students are all walking around here and they're well behaved, yeah. they're polite, they have good manners, yes sir, you know, yes, yes ma'am, you know, and things like that. And, and when it's nobody's just, watching either, oh, yeah. like this is just, this is how it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very, very impressive. Yeah, when I when I look at it and when people are talking about, you know, the, the future of the country or the kids or oh or like what's next or and I think about the leadership that's taking place and just the you know the the organization and the structure, like like I'm optimistic. I'm like come come do a Texas FFA convention, you'll see. Oh yeah. And it's cool to see I mean there's obviously Texas is a huge state, right? Yes, you know, yes. and, and it's and coming with that is a great diversity mm-hmm. of, of people. From everything from the big cities to the rural areas to, you know, and, and you know, places that are, you know, you know it's almost like I mean, up things that are all the way up on the northern border of Texas yeah. might as well be a different country in some ways than to like things on the southern border. So it's, it's cool to see such a like a, a melting pot mm-hmm. of all these different kids from all, all over mm-hmm. and that, you know, something like the FFA is like kind of like their common ground mm-hmm. that's uniting them to bring them to something like this. Now, did you have any history prior to this or even in this like of agriculture, like in your background or just in general? I'm curious. So I, I'm from Iowa originally before I joined the military and was you know transplanted down here into Texas. And then I have never left, of course, you mm. know, so I've, I've been here for many, many years now. So Iowa being a pretty agricultural, yeah. you know, base state, lots of, of farming there and, and things like that. My brother-in-law is actually a, a farmer. My wife tells me that you can't 
that you know it's offensive to to say that you know to like that down here in Texas they're ranchers you know they're not okay. farmers All right, got but it. so she's I'm the learn, native, I'm she's the native every Texan. Day. yeah so she's the one that you know it's like oh no no don't call them farmers they're ranchers but in Iowa they're they're mm. farmers my brother in law is a farmer and you know has cattle and and uh, corn mm. and soybeans and so I have some experience with the agriculture industry, but not a ton of, of mm-hmm. firsthand. So. so yeah, as I've been having these conversations with kids, I, I'm from Michigan, but I didn't have any farming background or I didn't know much about it. And every year that I come to convention, I learn just a little bit more. And what kind of amazes me is just how broad it is. When we think about what a farmer does or a rancher or like just the whole ecosystem of our food, and all those different facets, like it's vast. I feel like it doesn't get enough attention, enough media. You think about Hollywood and, you know, maybe you have, you know, uh, the stereotype of what it's like, but it's, it's different. It's changed. It's big tech. Oh yeah. It's, it's crazy. I mean, like obviously I don't have it, like I said, yeah. I don't have a ton of firsthand yeah. experience, but like I've talked, I've had those conversations with my brother-in-law at different times and you know, the things that like they're using GPS to determine exactly where the planter is in the field so that they can plant the seeds at the appropriate depth that they determined is the right for this part of that field. You know I mean? It's, it's high tech. It's, there's a lot of science involved, right? You know, so it's not like you said, what, what, you yeah. know, maybe like Hollywood tries to like you know, pigeonhole it into like this, this, you know, low tech, you know, blue collar, rough and gruff type thing. Like it's, it's everything. It's, yeah. it's from everything from A to Z. Yeah. What's been one of your favorite parts about conventions so far? Just interacting with the, the kids, yeah. you know what I mean? Like they're just, they're just fun to talk to. That um, energy, you know, right? To, like, yeah. <laughs> well, and, you know, a lot of times I get, you know, military guy, right. Yeah. Trying to, you know, do, be a recruiting presence. you know, like that's either well-received or not, mm-hmm. you know, and sometimes when it's not, it's not that like people are rude, but they'll kind of have like that little, like the blinder <laughs> yeah. where they're like, don't look at the army guy. Don't look at him. And, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's kind of fun to see if I can like, you know, like I'm like kind of trying to draw them yeah, into some yeah. sort of conversation, you know, and if, you know, if I, if I can, usually mm-hmm. they open all up, you know, and then we have a good little chat and, and mm-hmm. you know, provide them some information about the military and, you know, answer any questions, give them some free stuff and, you know, send them on their way, hopefully a little bit more educated about what mm-hmm. we offer in the National Guard. Mm-hmm. So. Have you had a chance to, and maybe you have, maybe you haven't, have you had a chance to walk into any of the sessions or see any of the things going on? We're I, pretty early on in the week, by the way. It's only it's only Tuesday when we're recording this, so there's some more days yeah. going on. So I've only, I've only been here today. I just drove in oh. uh, for the afternoon. So I, I basically walked in and started working in the booth. And, and so I haven't even and really got a chance got to And then got interviewed explore. right yeah. after. Come yeah. on, like you, that talk about, you got the luck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody else is still standing down there. And I get to come up I here know, and hang out with you. I know, you get to go sit down. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, well, Sergeant Tunnell, really appreciate you coming on the show today and to get your perspective of what, what the magic that's at Texas FFA and really the kids. So this whole thing and why we're out here is we want to showcase what all the members are doing, all the, all the young adults out here and the Texas FFA members. I mean, phenomenal work they're doing and the work just in leadership. I mean, organization building, like all the different structures and things they're doing. I think it's a great thing. I just want to say, hey, thanks again for making some time for us and coming on the show. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Awesome.